North Korea pressed a message to its people over the weekend. Its glorious hydrogen bomb test was a breakthrough in defending the country against external threats. Our beloved comrade Kim Jong Un paid a congratulatory visit on the occasion of the New Year to the Ministry of the People's Armed Forces and gave a doctrinal speech. State media reported that dictator Kim Jong Un congratulated his troops and later called for further progress in bolstering Pyongyang's nuclear arsenal. Outside experts remain skeptical that North Korea actually has a full-powered hydrogen bomb, but it's likely Mr. Kim is pouring resources into perfecting the technology. North Korea also released footage of the launch of a missile from underwater, which was personally overseen by the young leader. Its way of telling the outside world that it's making progress in developing weapons that would represent a major new concern for the U.S. and its allies, because submarines allow North Korea to get closer to its targets. The missiles would also be harder to track before launch. However, the new footage appeared to be doctored to include a video of a more powerful missile. Military officials say. In response to North Korea's threats. The U.S. flew a B-52 bomber close to the inter-Korean border. U.S. officials said the move was intended to show Washington's commitment to defending South Korea, Japan, and the U.S. homeland against North Korean attack. Following last week's nuclear test, China and the U.S. blame each other for not doing enough to contain North Korea's ambition to advance its military threat. And we cannot continue business as usual. While diplomats work on further responses, South and North Korea are now blasting political messages at each other from loudspeakers over the inter-Korean border. South Korean officials say Seoul is winning the battle because its loudspeakers are much more powerful.